All right, guys, they're playing some Yone top lane into a Cho'Gath. And what we're running in this game is Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, a Bone Plating, and then we're also running the Unflinching. This game, I want to showcase you guys again about how strong Yone top is. I've been making a lot of videos about Yone, a lot of them. And the champ just remains really strong. Like, you can get so far in solo queue playing Yone. There's so many good matchups, you scale very well. Like, high elo is completely crowded with Yone mains as well. Anyway, we're gonna start with the shove here, level 1. I'm gonna take the slow push. I wanna start like a fight immediately, but we'll have to play around the wave. Nice, pretty good. Now with Yone, it's very important you always take advantage of the level 1. Always, at all times. Because um, the auto queue with the little tempo is something that most champions struggle um, struggle playing against. Especially when you make it to level 2, you also have more damage plus your W. So your level 1-2 is like really, really good. And if you're always getting level 3 first as well, you can use your E to get like an instant kill. Unfortunately, not happening here. This guy's playing it pretty safe, actually. But every time he's going to go for like a last hit, we'll be dropping uh, dropping a Q along with it. Hmm. I should kind of like this. We're getting him pretty low. Just poking him down. That's like the beauty about the owner. You have like both poke and all in. So you have like really good trades. Ooh, that nearly hit. Would have been pretty clean if I actually did hit it. They have a uh, Maokai in the jungle, which is not necessarily a big threat. It's just that Maokai's ganking potential is, like, really broken. That's all you gotta remember. Uh, Maokai's clear in general is just really bad, so... We don't have to worry as much while playing against them. Oh. Got him. I'll take this fight. I've got the lethal tempo. I should be able to win. Yep. Lethal tempo is really, 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 really broken, guys. Make sure you use this. If you proc lethal tempo, there's barely a single champion that can five you. You can see it right here, too. Like, the Maokai went for a gank. I killed the Cho'Gath. I proc the lethal tempo, and then I killed the Maokai easily afterwards, because... His Q is like really high cooldown in comparison with my little tempo. Let's go for that one. Let's go for a Contra War. Let's walk back. Now this is kind of something that happens almost every single time I play either Yasu or Yone. The concept is always the same. If you run little tempo, you can always take on like really good 1v2s. Because if you fight to get the first skill, the little tempo will proc, and then using the little tempo, you can get the other one. Let's see here. The wave is like stacked up, it's not in my favor. Let's see how much damage I can get off here. And now we're gonna freeze. And we got him again. Again, using the little tempo. Now that's gonna push in as well. We had the double buff advantage as well, by the way. And let's take this stuff and then we're gonna head back. Nice. I could probably get another kill on this guy. Hmm. And I got him again. Nice. And now we go back, so... Um... Oh, I think there's somebody rotating topside. I'm just gonna take the risk here. No. 
let's go back. The first thing that we're going to buy is going to be the Gale Force. Let's go straight up for the BF Sword. I'm going to sell that one, sell that one, get the attack speed. Now, as for the build, um, typically what you're going to be running all the time is going to be the Gale Force build. Despite like the, uh, the changes that came around the corner, like some time ago, um, does not really impact you on it as much. Um, the build is still amazing. It's still excellent. I recommend Gale Force more than the Infinity Edge. Although the Infinity Edge is also pretty good. Let's walk up here. We will shove that one out. There you go. And now we're going to start farming between the towers, if that makes sense. There you go. Let's pick up the next wave. And let's jump across here. Get this camp as well. Maokai's bot lane. We have information of where he is. Nice. And we got another one. Let's go back to the wave once again. So like we're we're pressuring the entire lane um, outside of the lane phase. We're like farming between the two towers. And that gives you a big advantage if you do this correct. Got another jungle camp. Um, there is a possibility that Maokai is going to show up here. So now we got to be slightly more careful. And let's go back here. So yeah, we're running on a pretty good like 10 CS per minute currently. Got these ones. The next item is going to be a Bloodthirster, by the way. So it's going to be Gale Force into a Bloodthirster. And let's get back. How many procs has he got? He's got like four procs. Only four times. It's because like we're avoiding the lane phase against Cho. It's um, not necessarily because Cho is like strong, strong or anything. But like I can farm jungle camps. Get leads. Get plates. All without even killing him. I think that he's probably on Herald. I'm down to try in one versus two if they do it. And here we go again. I think that the blue buff has not been taken. Nope. It's not been taken. Lock that. So again, we're getting another jungle camp. Now we need to get this to drag it this direction again. There you go. Got it. And now we take this one. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm not taking this risk. <laughs> I'm uh, safely backing out. I'm not interested. The spirit realm is strange, I wonder what Cho would be doing here. Oh, he's still up here. Ah, he's going to try cancel. I'm okay with it. Cho has a lot of wave clear, so I might not be able to make this work. Oh, he filled it. That's actually not very bad because he dropped the Q down and his Q is actually one of the best forms of wave clear. And if he drops it on me and he fails it, then he can't shove the next wave as quickly anymore. Let's see, we currently have like double the farm advantage here. Hmm. 
Alright, I've got the wave. There you go. I just prioritized the wave real quick. The Cho was dead anyway. Nice. And let's take this thing down. Actually, we can keep it up there because we can deny the Cho. Hmm, seems like the Cho doesn't use teleport. I believe teleport's up though. Let's see if we can block the Cho from getting back down here. Ah, he's giving up. <laughs> Wait, what? He ran down top lane? And as soon as I all in, he just gives up. Alright. He didn't even try. That's quite sad. Like, I know you're losing ultra hard right now, but bro, what is that? At least try. Let's pick up this camp again. Again, getting more jungle camps. And we got another one. Cho'Gath is now back in mid lane. Apparently they are now lane swapping, which is perfectly okay with me. That's fine. The Cho'Gath's not worth that much gold anymore. So if Kiana is going to replace with Cho and we can kill Kiana a couple times, I certainly don't mind it. Go back here. We need uh, something like 600, but it's not worth staying for because all the jungle camps have been taken already. Nice. We're going to be running towards mid lane. I am not interested in going bot lane. I'm going to let my AD carry go there. I want to be trying to kill Cho'Gath once more. And then from the mid lane, I want to rotate top or bottom depending on what's going to happen at that point. I don't think Needly is going to get it. No. Let's try. Maybe there are some jungle camps I can take right here. I think he might probably know about this. Hmm. It might be a possibility he's going to try and steal. Huh. Apparently he doesn't. And... Okay. We're going to have to go back top again. Um... Yeah, we can't take that opportunity. I wanted to, couldn't do it. There were too many, they would lock me down. Hmm. I cannot take that opportunity. Top lane is looking decent. Drake is up, so I can't really go top. I would want to go top now, actually. Oh yeah, the Jake is going to go down regardless. Yeah. Well, no problem. We're chilling up here. We're not losing anything while being in mid lane. At the very least. Hey, it's focusing me here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Still haven't really used my item, like, <laughs> I rarely use it. There's no need to use it every single time. Oh, really? Apparently he stole. Oh, 
Really? Is he that fat that he can kill me like that? All right. That sucks. I think if my W actually land, I would have probably got him. But yeah, whatever. It's okay. Um, the next thing we're going to buy is an item that will prevent me from dying uh, through bursts. So we're going to be going for the shield bow. I was thinking about going for wit's end, but uh, that's something I'll get later in the game. We need to get this item. Okay, we're going to be running towards mid. So again, same concept. We're going to run mid lane. From the mid lane, we will rotate top or bottom, depending on uh, what's going to happen. The Drake is currently still standing, so we have to try and get it. Um, there will be a fight on Drake. So yeah. Pit lane's being farmed, so we're gonna head bottom. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> not a chance. I should have Gale Force, maybe. Got him. I'll get this tower. We still need to prioritize the Drake. Still have to try and get this thing. Hey, this the show overextending here. Alright, it's probably gonna die. Yep. Now we're taking over the entire map. You see? Like, we're taking over the entire jungle, the entire top, entire mid. We are currently running on like 12 CS per min. And we're about to get into another fight right here. Yep. Yeah, this game is a complete domination. <laughs> well played. She sidestepped everything. Okay. Um, the next thing that we're gonna buy, we can go like two directions. We can buy the static shift, which uh, provides us everything we need. Um, but one thing we can also do is go dead stands. I think I'm gonna go static shift. I like that idea. Yeah, let's go for the attack speed. I want to go crit chance, but or I can just go crit chance here. Yeah, let's go crit chance. I'll just sell my Doran's blade later. And here we go. Sucks that I died once because Kiana just got a lot of gold from me. But yeah, it's whatever. This game is looking pretty good. Despite my teammates like having a struggle in the early game. Hmm, we're about to get kills here probably. <laughs> Never mind. Goodbye. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I was about to kill them. I pressed my E backwards. I could have probably dished out like one more Q. So it could have been um, could have been pretty clean actually.
Hmm. Three of them are dead, so we can go Baron next. Yeah, let's grab it. The, the Maokai is still dead. Uh, Kiana just served. What well, she just respawned. We also need to leave. Need to leave up here. Well, we're about to get into a fight. Really? Oh, wow. I got exhausted. I, I, I could have killed all of these guys, man. Bro, that was gonna be such a sick play. If I if I didn't get exhausted right there, I would have killed I would have killed the Kiana. Probably the others too. Because that was close to like proccing the full lethal tempo. Hmm, nice teleport. Tough match. Partially because uh Maokai previously got the 1000 gold. And the Kiana also had like a lot of gold from the kill. Okay, let's go. We need to get like 500 gold. That's all. Let's get it. Oh, that was show up here. These guys are mega tanky. I'm just gonna live you back up using this. Maybe we can make a play. Well, that impacts a lot in this fight, but... Hmm. What if I lifesteal from a camp here? Would this work? I wonder. Can I assassinate the other guy? Ah, he ran off the uh, to the right side. Mm-hmm, that guy dies as well. We need to get the Drake. It's gonna be a risk, but I, I'm down to try it out. Yeah, that Maokai is really hard to beat. Yep, they got Drake. We can't change anything about it. Alright, let's go back. So 2.7. I'm gonna buy the static shift and then the the final item can go can be two things. Either a death stance or a guardian's angel. Like I'm personally thinking more about Guardian's Angel. I uh, I wish I could also have Blade of the Rune King this game, but um, this will not make my team fights like any better um, because I'll just I'll probably just die instantly. Okay, I'm probably already dead. Yep. This is why I need Guardian's Angel, man. <laughs> that guy is like ultra fit. Senna wasn't even here. How much damage did you do? 
That damage all came from Kiana, by the way. I feel like in terms of like team fighting, we're just losing currently because of the, the 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 champions that are being picked. They got like three tanks, what do we have? You know. All right, let's go. Speak truth. An enemy is that Kiana is a problem. Like, we the 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 main issue is that they have a Maokai, they got a Cho'Gath, they have like two tanks that are having like an insane amount of CC. We have zero tanks this game at all. We only have champions that work early game. Uh, Yone is a really good late game champion, but it's just not enough. Is there more camps here? Nope. Let's see. The wave play is amazing, bro. I need like 400 more. Mm. Yeah, I can't jump on this. It's too difficult. Got away. Yeah, ends up I get nobody. <laughs> Man, that CC is incredible. We're just getting Kaida down. I feel like tra like the champions this game is just gonna make us lose the game. Cause the only again is like a really good late game champion, but like the rest of the team comp. It's just really bad. We don't have a good ch team at all. Extra response to like 55. I feel like Cho'Gath is just like out of the game like he is, man. Like we, we destroyed this guy so much in the early game that he, he's currently like 0 9 6. He's got like one item in the game. But I feel like he's still stronger than, uh, for example, my Joner. It's kind of unfortunate. Alright, let's go. I still need to get level 18. And we're about to lose another Drake. Maybe I can turn. Ah, I die anyway. Man, the CC is insane, man. I wish that we had a tank this game. I feel like all these team fights are legit unplayable. I don't have problems with this guy or this guy actually, or this guy. It's it's mostly just Maokai and the Kiana. What's weird to me is that this guy is even going like Zarnia. This guy's like AP. Yeah, I think this game is probably over. We can still try, we got a red potion. Okay, let's try.
Hmm. Ah, oh, just not about enough. Man, this is a crazy game. Like, we got really fed, but unfortunately not able to carry it. I don't think it's going to get any better because we're full build. Yeah. Ah, this game's over. Got really far, considering how bad our team comp is. Okay, whatever. Hey, this is Yone Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.